praise the Lord. Well, we're back. Praise the Lord. Uh, we're having some technical difficulties on my end. And so we will try to uh, so can we get through this without any more interruption. But let us pray. Turn to God our Father in Jesus' name. We thank you for this morning. We thank you for the opportunity just to share a word with the saints. And we're looking forward, God, to how you continue to bless and increase us as we grow us in our faith in the name of the Lord. Even though we're not in a physical building, but God, we're in your presence. And in the presence of the Lord is the fullness of joy and the right hand pleasure forevermore. Because it's you which work within us to will and to do of your good pleasure. We praise you and we bless you right now in Jesus' name. Bless the hearer of the word. Oh, God, may take loose in their hearts that we may bring forth fruit in this season. In the name of Jesus the Christ, we pray. Amen. Good morning. I want to talk to you briefly. Praise the name of the Lord uh, um, from, from Psalm 62. And praise the name of the Lord, verse 5 and verse 6. Because I, I, my, my thought this morning is basically I'm expecting to overcome this because I am an overcomer. I'm expecting whatever we're going through, I'm expecting to get through this in the name of the Lord. The song said, my soul waited thy only upon God. My expectation is from him, he says. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God. He said, he said God is my expectation. He said, my expectation is from him. Praise the name of the Lord. He is my rock. He's my salvation. He's my defense. I shall not be moved. And and one of the, the songs that wrote earlier in Psalm 43 and 5, this is what he said. He, he questioned his own confidence. He questioned what's going on in him. And he said, why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou this quiet within me? Why, why aren't you worshiping? Why aren't you praising the Lord? Because you're out of, a, out of your comfortable zone. You're out of your place of being comfortable. But I want to challenge you. He said, hope in God. He's challenging his soul. Rise up. Let's hope in God. For I shall yet praise him. Even in the midst of what we're going through, we're going back fourth month. Praise the Lord. We tried the outdoor and, and so forth, but we seem to be back online again. But uh, we know that in God's own time, in God's own time, as God began to open up others, I, I just know believe God's going to bless us. Amen. In the name of the Lord. He says, so I yet will praise him. Who is the help of my continence? Praise the name of the Lord and my God. Because it's in my conscience that I recognize who he is. In my spirit, man. Praise the name of the Lord. Proverbs says this. He said, hope deferred making the heart sick. Uh, but when desire comes, it's a tree of life. Praise the name of the Lord. It's a hope. And in, in Luke's Gospel 17, Jesus was coming, heading to Jerusalem. He was passing in the borders of um, Galilee and Samaria. He ran across this village, and out of this village, whether they were in the village or out of it, ten lepers came to him. Praise the name of the Lord, and they were crying out according to the law, uh, have mercy on us. So Jesus just said, go show yourself to the priest. And as they were going, they were healed. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, in the midst of, of, of the heart being sick, of going through the leprosy, going through the challenge, going through that, but... But when the desire come, and as they were went, they were healed. But the Bible said one of them turned back. And the Bible, Jesus said, it's the stranger, which caused him strength because he was Samaritan. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, I know, isn't you unique that if somebody's believed that the other nine were Jewish? And the Jewish, the Jews had nothing to do with the Samaritan. But isn't it strange in a time of trial and situations of being all of them leprosy, they can hang together. But when Jesus healed them, praise the name of the Lord, who came back but the Samaritan? He came back with a thankful heart. He was grateful. And sometimes sometimes we've got to remember and remind ourselves, remind our soul, amen, don't be quiet. Be grateful to the Lord because God is bringing us through things. God is blessing us even in the midst of this uh, situation, this physical challenge we're going in. But yet God is still good because he's our very present help. He's with us in the name of the Lord. And, and to when the, uh, the writer tells us that God always calls us to triumph in him. You find that in 2 Corinthians 
He said, God always calls us to triumph in him. Always. Thank and he, he starts out by saying, now thanks be to God. He, he starts out by thanking the Lord. Why? Because he really can recognize which causes us to triumph in Christ. God causes us to triumph in Christ and make it manifest the Savior of his knowledge by us in every place. If you go over to the third chapter and read the fifth verse, it said, not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of us, ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God. Amen. It's not, through, it's not through our own ability, but it's through the power and the anointing of God that's inside of us. Praise the Lord. That's why you got to hope in God. That's why you got to believe God. I'm expecting to overcome these situations. I'm expecting to overcome these challenges. I'm expecting, praise the name of the Lord, to get through these things in the name of the Lord, who also has made us able ministers, what? Able ministers of what? Of the New Testament, of the Word of God, of the Gospel of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord, which is the power of God and the salvation to everyone that believes. Praise the name of God. And then he goes on to say this, but not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter kill it, but the Spirit what? Give it life. It's the Spirit that give it life. Praise the name of God. And so we must always keep a grateful heart. Think about what God has done. Praise the name of the Lord. Keep a grateful spirit. Amen. Keep your spirit up. Actually, don't be disquiet within me. Hope in God. And, his, and Paul writes in Romans 5, he said, And hope make it not what? A shame. Hope make it not a shame because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is what? Given unto us. In other words, hope do not disappoint. It does not disappoint. Praise the name of the Lord. And and because the love of God is is it's been shed in our it's been poured out into us. Praise the name of the Lord. And Philippians says this, he said, according to my earnest expectation, Paul, when he writes, he said, to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed. In nothing. I'm not going to be ashamed of my praise, ashamed of my worship, ashamed of just living for the Lord, ashamed of what God is doing through me. Praise the name. Ashamed of what God is doing through you. Amen. Each of us, God has called us into the kingdom of such a time as this. We are called, amen into this, like Esther was and Mordecai challenged her. How do you know God they bring into the kingdom at such a time as this? We're being faced with this challenge and the constant the church is always faced with the challenge but we meet that challenge with the power and the anointing of God because our hope and our faith is in the Lord Jesus Christ. And then he goes on to say, but, but, but that with all boldness always, so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body. In spite of what's going on, Christ shall be the one to be magnified. Christ is the one. Glory to God. Amen. Because the Bible teaches us uh, also in Philippians 2.13, for he said, in him we live, we move, and what? We have our being. It's in Christ that we have life. Praise the Lord. And have it more abundantly. Glory to God. He said, that's why I came, that you may have life. Glory to God. And he's always, so now also Christ shall be made by whether it be by life or by death. For me to live is Christ, to die is gain. So Paul comes to the conclusion that you know, whether I'm alive or whether I'm, I'm going home to be with the Lord, the glories belong to the Lord. Why? For all the promises of God in him are yea and what? They are amen. Yeah, praise the name of the Lord. Unto the glory of God by us. How? By the glory of God. How? By us. Now, he which established us with you in Christ and has anointed us is God. See, this anointing that we have is of, of, the, of, of God. Praise the Lord. In Christ, who have sealed us. We've been sealed. Praise the name of the Lord. And given the earnest of the Spirit in our hearts. And because of the seal of God that's on us, that Spirit of God is in you. And God that worketh in us to will and to do of his good pleasure. Praise the name of the Lord. So Paul, Paul goes on to say, for this cause, I will confess thee among the Gentiles. I'll confess Christ. I will praise him. I will worship him. I will lift him up. I will proclaim him. Uh, I'm with his people and again, praise the Lord. Then he said, all ye Gentiles, love him, all ye people. The word love means to applaud, commend, praise. Praise the name of the Lord. Why? Because we've been sealed. Saints, we've been sealed. Sealed by the Lord. Sealed by the Holy Spirit. Sealed to the day of redemption. Praise the name of the Lord, in whom ye also trusted, Ephesians says, in whom we also trusted that we heard the word of truth, 
the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, after that you believe, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Praise the name of the Lord, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the, of the purchase possession to the praise of his glory. We are waiting on that day. Glory to God. When this martyr shall put on immortality. Praise the name of the Lord. We're waiting. Glory to God. And so we must be steadfast. Keep our hope up. Keep your praise up. Amen. Keep your prayer life up. In the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Because it's so easy to get sidetracked by situations. It's so easy to get sidetracked by circumstances. It's so easy to get sidetracked by the difficulty that we face today. And the challenge that we're facing. Amen. It's so easy to slip back and into the fleshly mindset you know, or the carnalness or, or, or thinking I can do it this way, that way I can make it. No, we must maintain our faithfulness to God. We must maintain our commitment to God. We must maintain who we are in Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Because uh, Paul says also in Ephesians, he said, grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. Grieve not the Holy Spirit. That, grieve not the Holy Spirit in you. Whereby ye are sealed to the day of redemption. Don't grieve him by being disobedient. Don't grieve him by doing things, amen, that's not, not according to the righteousness of God in the name of the Lord. And he that walks in, in after the flesh cannot please God, Paul said. Praise the Lord. He said to grieve is to, dis is to stress, to distress out or, or to, uh, to be sad, to cause grief. Praise the name of the Lord. When the Bible said the joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of God is our strength. The joy of God that, that magnified within us. Because Jesus said out of your belly shall flow what? Rivers of what? Living water. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so with that, he said don't grieve the very thing that seals you. Don't grieve the very thing that guides you into all truth and show you things to come. He said don't grieve the Holy Spirit of God. And that spirit is in you. Amen. Heaven is sorrowful or to make sorrow by walking in disobedience. Remember what God said to Israel in Hebrews, I think it's chapter 3, the last verse he said, they, you see they could not enter in because of what? Unbelief. Unbelief grieves. Amen. Because he that doubted is like the wave of the sea, tossed with every wind. Praise the Lord. Let's be strong in the faith. Let's stand fast in the faith. Praise the name of the Lord. Because the trials of our faith they're just temporary things. Praise the name of the Lord. These are temporary things that we are facing on a daily basis. Praise the name of the Lord. Temporary. Glory to God. Amen. They're temporary. And so because they're temporary, praise the name of the Lord, we have a, have a tendency, praise the name of the Lord, to think that they're going to hang around forever. But they won't. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God. That's why when Paul writes again in 2 Corinthians, praise the Lord, look at what he says uh, in the fourth chapter. He said, for which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Praise the name of the Lord. These things that, that's happening to this fleshly body, praise the name of the Lord. They're just temporary for our light affliction, which is but for a moment working for us, a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are what? Seen but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So we're looking at the eternal things of God. We're looking at eternal life. Praise the name of the Lord that's in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Why? Praise the name of the Lord. Because why? This flesh, amen, this flesh is going back, going back to the dust. So I hope. So he said, he said, my soul, he asked his soul, why are you disquieting me? Why are you not praising and worshiping the God of your creation? And then he said, he says to his soul, hope in God. And I'm, I'm saying to the saints this morning, keep your hope up. Hope thou in God. God is our refuge. God is our strength. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we praise him and we bless him and we honor him and we glorify him today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And, and, and the, the scripture in Romans chapter 10, praise the name of the, I mean Romans 8, and begin with verse 10. I, I, I challenge you this morning to keep your hope up. He said, For, and if Christ be in you, if 
Christ be in you. You feel with the Spirit of God, Christ is in your heart. You accept him as your personal Savior. You've been saved. He is baptized into Christ and therefore put on Christ. He said the body is dead because of sin, but the Spirit is life because of what? Righteousness. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God. I think I've lost you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. Spirit is life because of righteousness. Praise the name of the Lord. And, and the Bible says, But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that what? dwelleth where? In you. Praise the name of the Lord. He said, Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. For if we live after the flesh, we shall what? We shall die. But if we through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, Guess what? He said, we shall what? We shall live. Praise the name of the Lord. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, not led by the flesh, but by the Spirit of God, they are sons of God. But ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. In other words, it's God's personal. That's your personal Savior. That's what the word personal means. I, 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 I talk to God as a as, Intimate. He's, he's my father. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And the Bible says, and if children and then heir, heirs of God and join us with Christ, I mean, we, we in other words, you, you, you're not only just saying I'm in the family, but you, you get the assets, you get the benefits of being a part of the family of God. Praise the name of the Lord. And if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. Glory to God. We're going to have to deal with the fact that we're going to have to go through some things and live this life. Praise the name of the Lord. We're going to have physical challenges. Praise the name of the Lord. But God has promised us. For, and then the writer said, For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature, in other words, the creation waited for the manifestations of the sons of God. The whole creation is waiting on our manifestation. Praise the name of the Lord. So saints, be steadfast. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. But then he goes on to say something. If you go down to the 24th verse of that same 8th chapter, he said this, But we are saved how? By hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. Because he said now, he said, For what a man sees, why do he yet what? Hope for. If you don't, if you don't have it, praise the Lord, you got to keep hoping for it. Praise the name of the Lord. But if we hope for that we see not, then we do with what? Patient, what? Wait for it. So we have to wait on it. And they that wait on the Lord, pray, shall renew their strength. So hope thou in God. Keep your hope up. We're going to get through this. Praise the Lord. I believe God's going to bring us through this with a mighty hand. I believe God's going to bring us through with a mighty outstretched hand. Praise the name of the Lord. But listen what what John says. How are you going to do it, Pastor? How are we going to get through this? This is what John writes in 1 John. Praise the name of the Lord. Look what he writes in 1 John chapter 3, verse 24. And he said, And he that keepeth his commandment dwelleth where? In him. He that keepeth the word dwelleth in him. And he in him, and hereby we know that he abided in us by the spirit which he has given us. Praise the name of the Lord. And then he goes in the fourth chapter, that same 1 John, he says here, Hereby we know. Hereby we know that we dwell in him and he in us because he has given us his spirit. And because he's given us his spirit, it's the spirit that bear witness. Keep thy hope. Amen. Keep encouraging your soul. Praise the Lord. Remember when David came back to Ziglag. Praise the name of the Lord. And, and, and the enemy had came in and took his, his family and all the men family. He took them all. And David was so despondent the men he had help turn on him. But David had, had, had to encourage himself in the Lord. And sometimes you get to a place where you got to know how to encourage yourself. And we are in a season now, we not maybe be together physically, in a physical building, but you got to know how to build your personal relationship with God and encourage your soul in the Lord. I tell your soul, don't be disquieted in me. Hope thou in God, for God is still our refuge. God is still our very present help. That's who he is. And, and he goes on to say this in, in 1 John, why? But for whosoever is born of God, what, what? Overcome the world. 
And this is the victory to overcome the world with even our faith. And if you read that sixth verse, he said this. He said, he that came by water and blood, praise the name of the Lord, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. And then he says the latter part of the sixth verse. He said, and it is the spirit that bear witness, because the spirit is true. And when you have the spirit of God inside of you, you have truth in you. It's the spirit that bear witness that we are children of God. It's the spirit that bear witness that we are sons of God. That's who it is. Praise the name of the Lord. So keep your hope up, saying, Amen. God gonna make a way. And notice what First Thessalonians five twenty three says to us. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. God sanctify, set us apart. God's the one purify us through his spirit, through the word of God. That's when Jesus told his disciples, you're clean through the words I speak unto you. He said, I pray, God, your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then he said in 24, for as faithful as he that called you, who also will do it. If God called us to it. God will perform the work, and amen, that is appointed for us to do. And let God do the work, and God was working in us. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. Why? Because it's God who both raised up the Lord and will raise also us up by his own power. That same power that's inside of you, that quickening power. We need to trust the Spirit of God in us. Name of the Lord. And this is what Paul says again, going back to 2 Corinthians. Praise the name of the Lord. And he reminds us, praise the Lord, as we said earlier, for this cause we faint not. Amen. And we, we, we struggle at no time to faint. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because these things are temporary. Yeah, glory to God. That's why he writes to us. He said, therefore, put on, hallelujah, the as the elect of God, holy. And beloved bowels of mercy. Put on mercy. Put on kindness. Put on humbleness of mind. Meekness and long suffering. For bearing one another. Being patient with one another. Encouraging one another. Praying for one another. Lifting each other up. Calling each other. For glory to God. Checking on each other. And not only that. He said forgiving one another. He said if any man have a quarrel against it. Even as Christ forgave you. So also do you. Glory to God. If any time we need to have our hearts pure in this season, because I believe the coming of the Lord is upon us. And above all these things, he said, put on charity, put on love, which is a bond of perfectedness, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also you are called in one body. And be thankful, and let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, glory to God, in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another, in songs, in hymns, in spiritual songs, Sing it with grace in your heart to the Lord. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give it thanks to God and the Father by him. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God. God wants us, to, amen, to have just a heart full of love. The sound in the word of God. Let the word of God dwell in you richly in all things. Speaking the word of God. Amen. Lifting the word of God. and praying in the spirit. Amen. Pray that this, this, this prayer has been a blessing to you. Praise the Lord. I hope you keep it going in the name of the Lord. I hope you just stay steadfast and praise the name of the Lord to it. Why? Because Paul writes again to us. He said, but as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard. Glory to God. Neither have he entered the heart of man. The things which God prepared for them that love it. Oh, glory to God. God has some great things prepared for us. But God has revealed them unto us how? By his spirit. Oh, for the spirit searches all things. Yea, the deep things of God. And what man knoweth the things of man. Say the spirit of man which is in it. But even so the things of God knoweth no man. But the spirit of God. Hallelujah. Now we have received not the spirit of the world. But the spirit which is of God. That we might know the things. That are freely given to us of God. God has freely given us eternal life. He has freely given us. Amen. Of his love. He's freely given up of his compassion. And he's saying, listen, as I love the world, and I love you since he loved you one another, praise the name of the Lord. For God has not given us the spirit of fear. No, don't let fear set in. Yeah, we're in this, this physical challenge, but don't let fear set in. 
but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Glory to God. And because of your sons of God, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your heart. You said earlier, crying, Abba, Father, wherefore, thou are no more servants. No, but a servant that understand what the master do, but his son. And if son, then have God through Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God. And when, when Paul was before, before um, I think, uh, Agrippa in Acts 26, and, and Paul was before him, and Paul was testifying. Glory to God. To all the things he'd been through. And, 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 and Paul was trying to persuade him. And he said, Thou art. And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And he, he, he talking to a king of grip. He's rehearsing his testimony on the Damascus road. Glory to God. And, and when he when we all fallen to the earth, Paul said, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecute thou me? It's hard for thee to kick against your prayer. And I said, Who art thou, Lord? He said, I'm Jesus, whom thou persecute. But arise and stand upon thy feet. Paul was and got a letter, amen, from the leaders of his day. Persecuting the saint. But he met Jesus on the road. Hallelujah. When you mess you persecute the saints, you persecute the Lord. The scream not the Spirit of God. Let's let's go, let's go. Let's don't talk against one another, but let's encourage each other. That's when you breathe the Spirit, but we don't do the thing that are rightly uh, according to the Word of God. We are to exalt one another, not envy and je be jealous of one another. Praise the Lord. But we are to lift each other up. Glory to God. He said, For I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness before thee, for these things which I have seen, and those things in which I will appear unto thee, Paul said. Look what he said. Praise the Lord. Deliver thee from the people. Oh, glory to God. We're going to do the things of God. God got to save us, not just from our sin, but he got to save us from people. Glory to God. Amen. You got to be saved from the opinions of folk and, and follow the word of God. Be committed to this thing. Praise the Lord. Committed to God. Speaking the word of God and from the Gentiles. And to whom I will now send thee. Glory to God. So you can speak the word. You can be a witness. You show that love of Christ. But then he said to open their eyes. Or at any time that the word eyes need to be open. They need to be open now. How are they going to see? They're going to see the love of God through us. And to turn them from darkness to light. From the power of Satan unto God. That they may receive forgiveness of sin. And inheritance among them which are sanctified. By faith that is in me. That's what he told Paul. Challenge, he kept it. And our challenge today, we must stand fast into the word of faith. We must stand fast into the things of God. And again, as I close and remind you, for this cause, we faint not. Why? But hope, hope thou in God. Glory to God. Hope, hope thou in the Lord. And he said, My soul wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from Him. My hope, my confidence. Glory is from him. Hallelujah. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. Hallelujah. Oh, so while thou was quiet in me, hope thou in God. God, only it's the health of my conscience. I refuse to let my conscience, refuse to let my attitude slip. I'm going to keep your praise up. Keep your spirit up. Hallelujah. Because we've been there and do it for a night. Joy will come in the morning. Give you gratitude up. Give you praise up. Be thankful to the Lord. And I bless the Lord for you today. In the name of God, we're looking forward as we go forward and uh, to do greater things and do greater works in the kingdom. Amen. And on this Wednesday night, our first lady will be with us. We're excited about that. And next Wednesday, the young people, in the name of the Lord, will be with us. In Jesus' name. And we're excited about that also. In the name of God. And of course, we'll be uh, there Tuesday as they prep our sanctuary, and uh, we'll go from there. And hopefully, as the Lord's will, uh, we should be back in uh, in God's time. We will not rush. We will uh, we'll ask you uh, 
to let us know if you, you are comfortable in going in or you're not comfortable. Please let us know in the name of the Lord. But we'll be praying much for you. Be blessed. And I pray the word of God has been richly bless you today. Encourage you to stand fast. Amen. Speak the word of God. Let it dwell in you richly. Speak it over your lives. Speak it. Declare it that I am what God says I am. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. That's who I am. I'm above and not beneath. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And God will cause us to triumph in all these things. Because no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. Because oh, our hope is our hope is in God. In God alone. God bless you. Father, in Jesus' name we thank you. We pray something was said. That the word of God will richly dwell in our hearts. That we will go forward. And God, if someone hear this word. They want to surrender their life to you. We pray, God, that you touch them right now. Let them know. Hallelujah. Now, all they got to do is confess you as their Lord and Savior and move forward in obedience to the scriptures. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you right now and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray that you hit us up at adwhite at 305gmail.com and you hit us up on Facebook. We're glad to talk to you. Glad to pray with you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be blessed and be confident. Keep your hope in God. Don't let your soul be disquiet because of what's going on. Be strong in the Lord. Speak the word of faith and be confident that he that have begun a good work in you, he shall perform it to the day of Jesus Christ.